Hey, Python enthusiasts, welcome back to PyGuess. Today, we're diving into Pydantic, a super useful Python library that's a game changer for data validation and parsing. Whether you're building APIs or handling messy data, Pydantic has your back. Stick around for a quick explanation and a simple coding example. Let's get started. So what is Pydantic? Pydantic is a Python library that helps you validate and manage data using Python type hints. It's widely used in web development, especially with frameworks like FastAPI, but it's great for any project where you need clean, reliable data. Here's why you'd use Pydantic automatic data validation. It checks if your data matches the expected types and formats. Error. Handling. Get clear error messages when data doesn't meet your requirements. Type safety. Leverages Python's type hints for cleaner, safer code. Easy integration. Perfect for APIs, config files, or data pipelines. Think of Pydantic as a gatekeeper that ensures your data is exactly what you expect before you process it. Let's see Pydantic in action with a simple example. First, install Pydantic by running pip. Install Pydantic now. Let's create a model for a user with a name, age, and email. Here's the code. Here's what's happening. We define a user model by inheriting from base model. We use type hints to specify that name and email are strings, and age is an integer. When we create a valid user, Pydantic parses it perfectly. But if we pass invalid data, like a string for age, Pydantic raises a value error with a clear error message. This is super powerful for ensuring your data is correct before you use it in your app. And that's Pydantic in a nutshell. It's simple, powerful, and saves you from data-related headaches. Try it out in your next project, especially if you're working with APIs or user input. If you found this helpful, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more Python tutorials, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss our next challenge. Drop a comment if you've used Pydantic or have questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.